Hey YouTube, it's Neon Storms, and I'm going to show you how to make a icon in Photoshop CS4 or 5. Probably CS3, I've never really tried it out. But what you want to do, this is for YouTube by the way. You want to go to File, New, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'll just name it Icon for the video. And then your preset will be Custom, Width will be 500 pixels, height 500 pixels, resolution 72 pixels slash inch, color mode RGB color 8 bit, background contents white. Now you click OK. Alright, and now what you want to start out with is these boxes in the left hand corner. I have it on red and black, so you're going to want to click it. You're going to choose a color, I'll do blue, and you click OK. Now you click the arrows, so it switches box, and I'm just going to do black, which is in the bottom left hand corner. You click OK. Now you come up to filter, render, clouds. And uh, this is just one of many type of backgrounds, but for the video I'm just going to be showing you this one. Now what you want to do is you want to use your line tool, which will be right above the grab tool. If you don't have it and it's like a rectangle, just right click it and this will pop up and all you got to do is select line tool. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the corner of your box and you want to drag it down to the next corner. And you want to have it decently lined up and you want to do this to all four sides. And you just do it on the right. Now you go to the top. Alright. Now you're going to go to your right side where it says shape 1 through 4. You're going to double click shape 1. Go to drop shadow. Blend mode. Normal. Opacity 100. Spread. I do 35. Size. I do 45. Now you can also change the color of the shading because all that did was shaded the box on the outside by clicking this box right here by blend mode. And when you change the color, it changes the shadow. Now I'm going to do black. Now you click OK. Now you're going to do that for all four sides. You can skip through the video a little bit if you want. Um, but yeah. Please tell me if you need any help with anything or if you'd like to learn how to do a different type of icon. I know many different ways. I can upload more if you guys like. And yeah. A comment would be greatly appreciated. Again, this is a very simple icon. Now you go to the last box. Drop shadow. Normal. 135 45 also if you don't get any of that you can just pause the video whatever works for you okay now that that's done you're gonna go to the T which is for text and give it a minute um, I have a lot of stuff open really okay now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna have it go basically across the whole box Alright, I have it on size 100. As you can see, it only goes to 72. All you have to do is highlight the number and change it to whatever you want, and that's what size it'll be. Alright, I'll have it say Storm. I have a pretty basic text, so yeah. I'm gonna make the color red. Yeah. Alright. I'll change the text just for just for looks. Um, you can also download any text you want from defont.com. The link will be in the description. Um, all right. Now that you have that, you're going to click the checkbox up here. Now you're gonna double click your name. Uh, okay. Now you're gonna go to drop shadow blend mode normal 
opacity 100, spread will be 100, size will be 15. Inner shadow, blend mode normal, opacity 100, choke I would do about 5, and size 5, so all three of these will be 5. You can mess around with them if you want, because what it's basically doing is kind of filling in your name a little bit, kind of like a shadow. Now you're going to click OK. You can go to um, Edit, Free Transform, and you can turn your lettering if you want. And then you just drag it, just like that. Now, you're going to click the checkbox. You're going to go to Filter, Texture, and you can mess around with any of these. And what it does is it basically gives style to your text. You click OK. I'm going to use stained glass just for the video. And see what it does there? It just gives it a nice little effect. Now, I'm going to add one little thing I like to use. It'll It's a GFX pack. If you'd like it, send me a private message and I'll send it to you. All it is is lightning. I have a lot of other stuff though. So if you want to add something, all you got to do is drag it into your other tab and bring it into the picture. And then you drag it again and put it right there. And now it's in your picture. There you go. and then drag it under your name so it goes behind it just like that and that is how to make a icon it was very simple i hope you guys liked it if you have any questions um... just write it in the comments and i'll be glad to help you bye guys